we have a transformation from R3 to R3 given by t of vector x equals the given vector shown here on the right, where x1 is equal to 2x1 plus 3x2, x2 is equal to negative x1 minus x2 plus x3, and x3 is equal to x2 plus x3. We can write the given transformation in the form of t of vector v equals a times vector v, where matrix A is what three by three matrix. So we want to find the standard matrix or transformation matrix for the transformation under T. We can do this a couple ways. Because we're in R3, the standard basis vectors are the vectors E sub one through E sub three, where vector E sub one is the vector one zero zero, vector E sub two is the vector zero one zero, and vector E sub three is the vector zero zero one. Any vector in R3 can be written as a linear combination of these three vectors as shown below, which can also be written as a three by three matrix times vector x, where for the three by three matrix, notice the first column is one, zero, zero, the second column is zero, one, zero, and the third column is zero, zero, one. Using this idea, let's write the given output vector or image as a linear combination of three vectors in R3. We can write the image as x sub one times a vector in R3 formed using the coefficients of x sub one, which are two, negative one, zero, plus x sub two times the vector in R3 formed using the coefficients of x sub two, which are three, negative one, one, plus x sub three times a vector in R3 formed using the coefficients of x sub three, which are zero, one, one which means we can write the output vector or the image as a product of a three by three matrix and vector x. Where the first column of the three by three matrix is two, negative one, zero. The second column is three, negative one, one. And the third column is zero, one, one. So now that we have the image or the output vector in this form, we know matrix A must be this three by three matrix for this transformation. Where again, the first column is two, negative one, zero. The second column is three, negative one, one. And the third column is zero, one, one. Related to this, if we were given T of vector X equals matrix A times vector X, we can always find matrix A, the transformation matrix or standard matrix, by determining the transformations of, in this case, vectors E sub one through E sub three, the transformations will make up the three columns of the three by three matrix, matrix A. So let's also show this. So let's find the transformation of vector E sub one, which is the transformation of the vector one, zero, zero, which means X sub one is one, X sub two and X sub three are both zero. Under this transformation, the first component is equal to two times one plus three times zero or two. The second component is equal to negative one minus zero plus zero or negative one. And the third entry is zero plus zero, which is zero. And now let's find the transformation of the vector E sub two, which is equal to the transformation of the vector zero, one, zero. So now x sub one is zero, x sub two is one, and x sub three is zero. The first entry of the image is two times zero plus three times one or three. The second component is negative zero minus one plus zero or negative one. And the third component is one plus zero or one. And finally, we also have to find the transformation of vector E sub three, which is the transformation of the vector zero, zero, one. So now, x sub one and x sub two are both zero, x sub three is equal to one. The first component of the image is two times zero plus three times zero or zero. The second component is negative zero minus zero plus one or one. And the third component is zero plus one or one. And now if we look at matrix A again, notice how the first column is two, negative one, zero. The second column is three, negative one, one and the third column is zero, one, one. So these are two valid methods for determining matrix A under the given matrix transformation. I hope you found this helpful.